What is hypnosis? It's a trance-like state resembling sleep, usually induced by a therapist by focusing a subject's attention, that heightens the subject's receptivity to suggestion. The uses of hypnosis in medicine and psychology include recovering repressed memories, modifying or eliminating undesirable behavior, such as smoking, and treating certain chronic disorders, such as anxiety. Be calm and sleep. Be calm and sleep. Be calm and sleep. Once in the relaxed state, the hypnotherapist can begin to work with their patient on whatever it is they'd like to improve. There are two types of hypnosis, suggestive and exploratory, which is very effective for PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder. Unconscious and buried experiences rise to the surface and are expelled, allowing people to experience immediate healing. One, your consciousness will be altered. Hypnosis can make it seem like someone is out of it or asleep, when in reality their consciousness is simply altered the same way it might be if they were zoning out or daydreaming. Once a person utters this relaxed, dreamy state, the hypnotherapist can begin to address their underlying concerns. Hypnosis is focused attention. Because of its ability to focus, one can tap into so many areas of empowerment they do not realize they have. 2. You technically hypnotize yourself. Even though it may seem like the hypnotherapist is doing all the work or making someone become hypnotized, it's actually the individual who is allowing themselves to relax. All hypnosis is self-hypnosis. It is not something that is done to you. It is a balanced dance with the therapist following where the subconscious mind leads, and then leading the subconscious mind towards profound internal insights. 3. You're not being mind-controlled. One thing that might come as a relief to people who want to try hypnosis is that it may be a strange experience, but it's definitely not mind control. A hypnotist cannot make someone do something against their will. You're still you, and thus in complete control of your faculties. 4. You might experience changes in just one session. Despite popular belief, you can't get stuck in hypnosis, or remain slightly hypnotized after leaving your session. Although you may wish you could once you experience it, since many people find the experience relaxing and soothing. You can, however, experience visible changes once you leave. 85% of the people hypnotists see for smoking quit after one session. But that level of success only works for people who allow it to work. 5. You might feel really heavy or really light. There is no one right way to feel during hypnosis. Either hypnosis doesn't feel like anything, or you may feel really heavy, or you may feel really light. It really doesn't matter, because it is your experience and you will experience exactly what you need to experience. <laughs>